Hi everyone. So a few weeks ago I brought a Katsu pocket hole jig. Heard good things about it, it's one of the cheapest on the market so I thought I'd give it a try. But when it arrived I wasn't having good results with the, the holes, there had a lot of tear out in them. I tried it on softwood, I tried it on plywood, I tried it with a cordless drill, with a corded drill to get the higher speed and was still getting the tear out. So I sent it back, I've now ordered the Trend pocket hole jig and I'm going to give that a try, do some similar tests with it and see what the results are like. So straight out of the box you get very similar equipment between the two. Except with the Trend you do get the addition of the clamp which helps when you want to use these on their own separate from this mounting jig. So onto the pocket hole jig itself. So on the surface they're very similar designs. They both have the holes for drilling the pocket holes. You have an adjustable clamp for clamping the wood against the jig itself, work in a similar fashion. You have adjustments on the end depending on the, the thickness of your wood. With the trend you can also move the base itself forwards or backwards to allow for thicker or thinner wood. You have fixing holes to put it to a permanent base and you also have the adjustment to space the pocket holes apart. So one of the downfalls with the Katsu is it had these sections removed here to allow the sawdust to escape when you're drilling. One of the issues with that is that when the drill bit is cutting through the wood it leaves a lot of room for the tear out and I think that's one of the main reasons that um, that jig doesn't perform as well. So with the trend these extra supports should help minimise the tear out and that's one of the main big differences between the two. So this was the tear out that I was getting with the Katsu one. Although it's softwood and softwood does, does tear easier as you can see it's actually quite a rough cut around the hole. So we're going to do exactly the same test with the trend one. We're even going to do it right at the side of these two holes just so they can be seen side by side. about to release this from the clamp but one thing I wanted to show you is these dust ports still do a good job of letting all the sawdust exit as you're doing the drilling. So let's release the clamp and see if there's difference in the cutting on the wood. I mean straight away you can clearly see a big difference between how clean of a cut that is and how clean of a cut those are. I really am surprised at the difference of the cut. When it's on soft wood, it's using a cordless drill, so this is in theory the worst result I will ever have. But as you can see, that's still a really clean cut in comparison to the ones from the Katsu, where there's an awful lot of tear out. So unfortunately, when I brought the Katsu pocket hole jig, I didn't do any recordings of the test because I didn't think it would perform so poor. But I have to say, I'm really glad that I've sent that back and I've now brought the Trend one. The, the difference is amazing in the cuts and I think this is exactly the quality that I was expecting from the start. So by no means is it a conclusive test. There could have been issues with the drill in the Katsu. It might not have been as sharp. But I think those small design features of having the extra supports down the side of the hole, of the guide hole, makes a big difference in the quality of the cut that you get between the Katsu and the trend. Thank you for watching, more videos will be coming soon.